Okay guys, we are going to go and check out the Beverly Cemetery Reserve. So this is just off Port Road and a big shout out to David for this one, putting me onto it. I have no idea what to expect. Okay, I don't quite know what to say about that. One thinks they could have, or maybe they've tried to be artistic. What do you think, Jamie? I think they've tried to be artistic. They've obviously taken a headstone and put it back together. Not how it, oh, it's all different ones. Okay. All different ones, the pieces of all different ones. Fair enough. Trying to preserve some history. Can't knock them for that. This building next to me looks very interesting, doesn't it? It looks a bit abandoned. <laughs> so there's some roses in the rose garden. They need deadheading. I've just come to the end of the season. And then we have this one here. Shadrach Elisha Thomas. Died 1881, age 36. And Masak... Moses Thomas died 1895, aged 47. Some nice raw iron, a bit of it's missing. And then we have, as you can see them going around in a curve on the ground. Then there's one there that's standing up and then they start here at the back as well. So this is for Evelyn, the beloved wife of Jay Willsmore. He died at Beverly, aged 24 in 1896. These are some very old stones. And they sang a new song. And then behind me, we have Edgar Williams. I think it's 33 in 1915. And they've put that in cement, preserve it, I assume. This one's for Samuel Willsmore. Can't quite make it out. This is lost all its lead lettering. I wonder where it went. Oh, camellias. That's going to look pretty when they flower. And behind me, Mary Ann Gray, age 60, 1876. Charles... Haynes and another Charles Haynes and an Agnes Haynes. Let's make sure we get that all in there. I wonder what that hole is. Do you think it had something in it, Jamie? We'll just get that whole one in there and then behind us. Okay, so it has got something written on it. But your guess is probably as good as mine because all the lead lettering's out. Look on the other sides. Yes, there was something on this one. Okay. Now, I'll do this one next. John Willsmore. 1879, aged 48, and Mary, his wife, 1897, aged 64. These are all of the same design, most of these around here. Oh, look, I've missed one in here. Mary Ann Marsh, 65, 1878, and Frances Sturton Marsh, 75 in 1886. Makes me wonder what I can't see. Hmm. Um, this one lost its lettering. Oh, it's got a lot written on it. Oh, right down to the end. Well, there's a few names on there. John, Eva, Wilhelm, is it? Let's have a look at it. Nope, but there might have something missing from there. And then we have this one, Sarah Martin, the beloved wife of 
Uria, is it? We'll just capture it on there and we can read it later. 1871, aged 40 years. Not lost, but gone before. And also it says down there, but where the bottom half to that is, I do not know. Let's pop over to this one behind me. Cornelius Eldridge, 69 in 1908, and Johanna Eldridge, 63 in 1905, and encased in concrete. All right, this one's lost its lettering too, but it looks a little braille doesn't it? Loving memory of Friedrich Hewitt, Elsie. I will always think of you. Anything else on that? Just a pretty pattern like that the whole way around. A bit to this one. William, dearly loved husband of Sophia. Is that Ray? R A E. Aged, I think it's 34, and also Albert. Killed in action in France, October 1917, aged 21 years. In loving memory of our dear sister May, youngest daughter of Andrew Porter. She was aged 24 and eight months. There's some writing down there, but it's not easy to read. And then stepping around that one, it's got nothing else on it apart from some decoration. Okay, we'll keep going around the outside ones. I'll try to get me out of it for you. All right, this is for Sarah Wilson. I'll go the other way, See if it works better. There we go. Sarah Williamson, sorry. Uh, 69 in, 19, in 1899, and William, husband, 68 in 1899. All right, keep going around this way. Mary Ann Adams. Put that out, you don't want that hanging down there. 84 in 1903. Another beautiful one. Get me out of it. And this is James Hewitt. He was only 25 in 1886. An affectionate son and a loving brother. A bitter cup, a shock severe, to part with one we love so dear. Our loss is great, we will not complain, but trust in Christ to meet again. And James Hewitt, father of the above, 68 in 1895. So they lost, he lost his son. And Mary, she died aged 74 in 1904. Okay. Keep going around this way. Back over this side this time. All right, in loving memory of Sarah Emily Williams, beloved wife of S.L. Williams. 65 in 1913. And Solomon, Levi, husband, 79 in 1925. Very interesting. Annie, beloved wife of John Dowling, 1916, age 78. And also to Ellen, daughter, 13 years. Emily, daughter, 26 years. And Louisa, wife of James, age 31 years. Whew. Tough times. All right, this is a slate one. It's for this Eliza, maybe Louisa Haynes, 1869. Oh, it's only a baby, age five years and seven months. Sweet babe, how sweetly thou dost sleep from all the earthly toils. Look how beautiful that writing is.
It would have been hand carved. Just lovely. Which brings us to this. At the moment we're just walking around it to see if we can find something. And yes, we have beautiful raw iron, isn't it? It is in loving memory of John Thomas Heedley, uh, Heady, H-E-A-D-D-E-Y. The beloved husband of Francis, who died 1892 in his 70th years. Yeah, that's fancy writing. It's a bit hard to read. I think there's something missing from the top. Let's have a look at the top. I just put my hand there. It feels like there might be. We now have to complete this row around the inside. This is for Julia Harriet, wife of Samuel. And she died 1929, aged 58. And Wilfred, the fourth son, who died in 1928, aged 24 years. William Henry Stevens, aged 76, died in 1940, and Amy, aged 77, died in 1947. Henry Marsh, died 1897, aged 56, and Harriet Marsh, 1906, aged 61. Frank William, loving husband of Grace, 1917, aged 56, and Grace, his wife, looks like 1940 something, aged 81, and Doris, Annie, Evelyn, granddaughter, passed away, aged 10 days. Like it would have been a very nice stone, wouldn't it? It sparkles. What's the word at rest that it had up the top? Okay, Madeline and Victor, the beloved children of Hugh and, I can't quite read it, I think it might, it might be Hannah. Hugh, beloved husband, Hannah, called to higher service, 1836. Another shiny sparkly one and is it last but not least I think it might be is Isabella the beloved wife of Joshua she aged died in 1911 aged 64 and that's the last one guys there's that one with the beautiful wrought iron I'll just give you a quick look around where we are so this is sort of like an industrial area, residential industrial area. Strange, isn't it? I did not know of it. There's a rock here, it used to have a plaque on it. Now there's a more modern one that says, Daryl Craig Johnson or Georgie, 1990, rest in peace. They actually buried here? I have no idea. I have no idea if these people are actually buried here at all. Well, we will go and do some research and find out. That's it for this one, guys. As always, thanks for joining me, and I will see you very soon.